Hey guys, this is Hamon, and welcome back to Bite Size, the show where I review games that I take an interest in. They don't have to be old, they don't have to be new, they just have to be something I'm interested in. And today we are looking at Hades. And what do I have to say that is not the same as most other reviews that I've said about it, this game? It's a really good game made by Supergiant, which I've definitely played at least one of their games before, that being Bastion. And they do it again. This is a good game, a nice roguelike game that tells the story of the son of Hades, Zagreus, and his endeavors to escape the underworld. And yeah, that's really it. I mean, I mean, obviously there's more to the story and all that, and you discover things as you go along, but otherwise, that's generally the basic idea. You're the son of a god that wants to escape the place that he lives in. You know, rebellious teen thing. And I think there's a, like a twist at the end that I haven't reached, but I at this point I forgot, and when I find out I'm like, oh, okay. Now, here's the thing. In terms of graphics, the game looks really great. And I have no issues with it. The monsters look nice, very unique, depending on what they are. The characters look interesting, certainly fitting of what they are. I haven't gotten that far in, so I don't think I've seen all of the gods that are gonna give you booms and all that, but they all look very interesting. I like the the colors that they that they're given. Certainly an interesting take on them. And yeah, it's like I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I the worlds are very interesting. I couldn't help but look at them every time I went to the little ledge that allows you to look at the overall view of the world and the weapons are very unique in design and all that. And like what else can I say? Seriously. Now, I'm, I guess we can just go on to gameplay then, and gameplay is, you know, as it should be. It's a roguelike game where you go through the level of randomly generated uh, chambers, buy, fight enemies, or take a break, depending on how it goes, to go to a shop, all that stuff. And if you die, you have to start all over again, trying to get a little further each time until you reach the end. And so that's how it always goes. The difference being none really because most roguelikes have this same premise i mean this one has a very good story don't get me wrong but it has a lot of the elements that most roguelikes have always changing dungeons the fact that you can unlock power-ups that you can take into the dungeons each time different weapons to try out a little bit of lore behind the whole thing that kind of stuff and i don't have an issue with it like Sure, I would like to see something new and in, added into it. Like this one, so far you can have the choice of a weapon, you can dash, and you can use a special arrow type of thing. But otherwise, it's the same thing. The only difference is that depending on the boons you get from a god or items you get throughout your journey, it can affect how the game plays. Much like a lot of Lord of Likes. Although, personally, I've been enjoying the power-ups that can cause special effects on your spells that you cast. But otherwise, it's a lot of the same, and I don't fault it for that. Sometimes you need some more of the same to enjoy a game. And with that said, I'm just gonna say what most people say. Go check it out. It's like, am I gonna suddenly tell you, oh, it's a bad game? No, it's a good game. Super China has always been good. I mean, I played Bastion before and I loved it. That was the first game they made and I enjoyed it. I even made a character based on it and even came up with lore behind him, but that's a whole other matter. But in any case, it's free on Xbox Game Pass as usual with all my videos that I'd say this. Otherwise, it is the price at the lower left hand of the screen. It is available practically everywhere at this point, but here's the list of, of where it's available if you don't know. And with that said, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!